In today's beginner's guide, we're gonna show you how to install watchOS 10 on your device. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna show you two ways to do it, whether you're doing it on your watch itself or using your iPhone. You will need your watch charger and your watch must be charged to at least 50% or more and connected to its charger in order to be successfully updated to watchOS 10. You're gonna get access to great features and I can't wait to get this set up with your device. So without further ado, let's get started with installing watchOS 10 or the latest operating system on your Apple Watch. The first thing you'll need to do is unlock it. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my passcode off camera and I'm presented with the lock screen right here. So once you activate your uh, password and you enter in the password, you'll be presented with the home screen just like this and you'll need to press the digital crown in order to get access to all of your applications. You'll need to go into the settings app to get started with your update process. So we'll tap on the settings icon. I'll zoom out and zoom back in so you can see that settings icon in the top right, just like that. You can tap on it and it opens up settings. You can also ask Siri to open up settings if you want, just by holding the digital crown, open settings. And just like that, it processes and it loads and opens up settings for us. So we've accessed settings and inside of settings, you're gonna go down to general and then software update. And that's how you get access to the latest software on your Apple Watch. So it's checking for update and it says here, we've got watchOS 10.0 ready to be installed. You can scroll down, you can hit download and install, but be uh, mindful of the little print here. You need to connect your Apple Watch to its charger. It needs to be connected to Wi-Fi and it needs to have at least 50% of its battery life in order to work properly and install the latest software update. So that is the first way to install the latest watch OS on your device. You access settings on your Apple Watch and you scroll down and you select general and then you go to software update. And that's how you find the latest operating system. Another way you can do this, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to this charger here, is on your iPhone. So go ahead and unlock your iPhone and find the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. It's named Watch. You can search in Spotlight or you can go over to the app library and type in Watch and open up the Watch app and it will connect to your Apple Watch. It'll display here. So here I've got Justin's Apple Watch and you can go through the same methods that we did on the Apple Watch itself to update. You find the general section, you tap general. Oh, that's seller. We can hit the back button. We can tap general at the top there. And then at the top of this general screen, we've got an option for software update. We tap that once, it checks for updates. And then here we have the latest operating system ready to be installed, watchOS 10.0. So this is what it should look like for you on your iPhone with your Apple Watch connected. And you can scroll down and go ahead and hit download and install. Now again, keep in mind, you will need to connect your Apple Watch to its charger for this to work. It'll need to be in range of your iPhone that's connected to Wi-Fi. And the installation only starts when your Apple Watch has at least 50% battery life. So you can always go to your Apple Watch. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off camera, enter my passcode, and we'll go ahead and uh, bring up our control center here. So control center, you just swipe up and you can get access to the battery percentage. So you can see here we're at 100%, we are well over 50% here, and we are ready to install. So whether you decide to download the operating system watchOS 10 or the latest operating system on your watch or your iPhone, either way, you'll be able to get access to the latest tools and latest software updates, no matter which method you pick. So you can start it on your Apple Watch or you can start it on your iPhone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the iPhone and proceed with the installation process. We'll go ahead and hit the download and install button just like this. It'll bring up some terms and conditions that you'll need to agree to in order to download them. We'll hit agree and it will start downloading the watchOS 10 onto our phone and downloading it to the watch. It's estimating the time remaining and this can take a few minutes here. So after you hit the download and install button, it'll start the process of downloading the operating system right to the watch and you'll be able to um, you know, install watchOS 10 as soon as it completes this download process. So you can see here downloading to watch and the estimating time at the top is going to process. So it looks like it's processed and it's gonna take about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my phone down. You can go ahead and use other features on your phone and um, let this download 
download, keep your iPhone next to your Apple Watch as it downloads. And after this has successfully downloaded to the Apple Watch, we'll resume the video and we'll come back and see what the next steps are in order to install watchOS 10 onto our Apple Watch. So we hit the download and install button and it's presented us with this countdown of eight minutes remaining, downloading the Watch OS 10 software to our Apple Watch. And we can mount, monitor the progress right here on the Watch app. So we'll be right back as soon as this is download, downloaded, completed and on our Apple Watch. Our Watch OS 10 software has successfully been downloaded to the Apple Watch and now it's moved on to the next stage, which is preparing. So this prepares the installation process. And one thing that's really cool is I'm gonna go ahead and enter my password on the Apple Watch off camera, unlock the device and head over to the settings app and scroll down. You can see the same progress on the Apple Watch as you see on the iPhone Watch app. So we can scroll down here and see that it's in the preparing state and that it's getting ready to install Watch OS 10. If you love to stay up to date with the latest iPhone, you'll love to stay up to date with the latest 3-in-1 L Gear charger, which charges your iPhone, your Apple Watch, and your AirPods all at the same time. And look at the standby mode in iOS 17. Very impressive. You can check out and use your settings here, get different clock faces. This 3-in-1 charger from L Gear, you can get 15% off using the app find code. You can get yours using the link in the description below, and it is super cool. You can charge your AirPods, your iPhone, and your Apple Watch all at the same time. Check it out from L Gear, the three-in-one wireless charger. After the preparing phase is the installation phase. It'll pop up and it says installing now. So our Watch OS 10 is being installed on the Apple Watch. And you can see on the Apple Watch here, it has a progress circle. So it rotates around the circle as the Apple Watch OS, Watch OS 10 software is installed and when it is completed, this ring around the Apple Watch will complete itself. So you can monitor the progress straight from the watch. If I zoom in here, you'll be able to see a little bit of the, uh, the ring there. So it's kind of hard to see in the lighting conditions that we have here, but there is a ring around the Apple Watch and it slowly makes progress as it installs the latest software onto this device. So you can monitor that ring to see where the installation progress is. And the closer it gets to completing the circle, the closer it is to finishing the installation of the Watch OS 10 software or whatever latest operating system you're installing. And of course, you can see on the Watch app inside of your iPhone that it's currently installing. It doesn't give you the ring or the percentage, um, but you can check it out on your Apple Watch itself here. Your Apple Watch may, you know, restart or go black or uh, make updates to itself. You'll be able to see that as it happens on your Apple Watch, but don't be alarmed if, you know, um, you see the Apple logo or you don't see your normal watch face. So this does take a little while. It can take up to, you know, 10, 20 minutes here as it starts to install its uh, operating system. So be patient. And as soon as it's done, it will, you know, pop back up with your normal passcode screen and, uh, uh, unlocking it will take you to the watch face in your new software that you've installed. So we'll go ahead and let this progress bar around to the Apple Watch continue. And as it finishes up, we'll be able to see what it looks like when it successfully installs Watch OS 10 onto this device. And now we're presented with our lock screen. So our Apple Watch successfully restarted and it allows us to type in our password. I'll go ahead and do that off camera and check out our watch face. So let's enter our password and then here we are with the watch face and we can access our activity rings or normal watching. So it just restarts the Apple Watch and just like that we have successfully installed Watch OS 10. And you can take a look here at the watch app on the iPhone. You can see that your Apple Watch is up to date with the latest bug fixes and security enhancements with Watch OS 10. And that was very simple to install. We just had to put our watch on the charger, make sure the battery was over 50% and then go inside of the settings application. We can head over down to the general section, select software update, and then tap the download and install button, wait for it to process, wait for it to download to the watch, wait for it to prepare, it installs on the watch. And then just like that, within you know a few minutes, your watch restarts and you're updated to the latest software. So this has been a complete beginner's guide of how to install Watch OS 10 on your Apple Watch. You can check it out 
and just head over to your settings application right now and get access to your latest watchOS software update. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite feature of watchOS 10 is. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next video. And we've got plenty of updates coming, plenty of videos coming for the watchOS 10 software, and we can't wait until you watch them. So thanks for checking out this video and we'll see you in the next one.